so mad I could scream. For years I've been cutting out pictures and articles on Ethan Crane. And, w and when I finally get a chance to see him in person, maybe even meet him, what am I doing? Arguing with some nutcase who got paint all over my best sweater. Teresa, you and your dreams about meeting Ethan Crane. I will meet him. And what about you, Whitney? Don't you have that dream of being the best tennis player in the world? Yes, but hopefully mine will come true because I work hard. But this? I mean, look at this room. What's wrong with it? It's like a shrine to fashion and unrealistic dreams. Maybe your brother Louise is right. Maybe you are living too much in a fantasy world. I don't believe it. Has Louise brainwashed you? Next thing you'll be telling me I should take that job at the Burger Hut. You do need money for college. I'll find a way to make money myself and help Mama out, too. Well, you better do it fast, or else Luis will make you take a job at the cannery scaling fish. He wouldn't. If I say it's a foul, then it's a foul. He would. You think pit bulls can take human form? Because that's what Luis is, a pit bull. He won't let go till I take that awful job at the Burger Hut. It might not be so bad. Then you work there. I've already got a summer job. I'm teaching kids tennis at the country club. The country club? I'm so jealous. Why? It's just a job. Just a job? Slinging burgers is just a job, but the country club? I dream of going there. Everyone dressed in fabulous clothes, having fabulous parties. <sighs> These dreams you have. What? You think I'm not good enough to go to parties at the country club? Of course not. But what's the point of fantasizing about it? I mean, we don't belong to the country club. We don't even know people that belong to the country club. I could have met them if I'd gotten that job at Lowell's. Lowell's? I applied for a job in their evening dress shop. And I would have gotten it if my hair was blonde or if I was a deb. Teresa, Lowell's is the most exclusive shop in town. They only hire people with experience. <laughs> I know more about fashion than any saleswoman in that store. They didn't hire me because I'm not one of them. They think I'm not good enough to be anything more than a maid like Mama. Well, they're wrong. I'm going to have a big house one day, as big as the cranes. And I'm going to let Mama give the orders, not take them. Mama. Hi, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Hi, Whitney. Mama, you look tired. Why don't you go lie down? Your brothers will be wanting dinner. Oh, I forgot. It was my turn to make dinner. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll get it. I brought you some magazines that Mrs. Uh, Crane was going to throw away. And there's also a nail polish she didn't like. Provocative pink? This is the color this year. Oh, I love it. You look troubled, Mrs. Lopez Fitzgerald. Is everything okay? Sheridan Crane was in a car accident in Paris. Ethan's aunt? Is she all right? I don't know. I pray she will be. Oh, she's had such a painful life. Perfect. Hey, come in that magazine with me. Sure. Not Elle, City and Country. Oh, you and your society magazines. Careful, my man. Me? I like them. It keeps me up on all those people I'm going to meet after I marry Ethan Crane. Mm-hmm. Julian and Ivy Crane with son Ethan at Harmony Hospital Gala. Ivy, that dress isn't right for you. The green dress you wore last month was much more flattering. Oh, well, you can tell her that next time you're at the country club. I shall. Uh-huh. <laughs> so pleased to meet you, Mr. and Mrs. Crane. I'm Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald. That's right, of THE Lopez Fitzgerald. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, your Ivy son. Oh, why well, I'd love to dance with you, Ethan. <laughs> you are nuts. <laughs> dance every dance with you? I think that could be arranged, Ethan. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever heard of knocking? Oh, have you ever heard of responsibility? While you're up here playing out some ridiculous fantasy about socializing with the cranes, Mom is making the dinner that you were supposed to cook. Well, speaking of dinner, I better get home. Don't go. I think I better. Night, Louise. Whitney, 
Mama's been on her feet all day working. I'll go help her, okay? Just leave me alone. Oh, wait, Teresa. Watch my nails. I just did them. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? Don't be mad at me, Teresa. You still love your big brother, don't you? I'd love you a lot more if you'd stop yelling at me all the time. I'm sorry. I just want what's best for you, and that's why it worries me to see you get caught up in these crazy dreams. Wearing expensive clothing, jewelry, caught up with the cranes. It's not gonna happen. What's that supposed to mean? That I'm gonna be a maid like Mama? No. But if you work hard and go to college, you can have a better life. And that's what I want for you, and that's what Mama wants for you, too. But if you keep on with these foolish dreams... They're not foolish. Teresa! What do you know? You've never had dreams. Oh, I've never had dreams? I've never had dreams. Oh, I used to dream I'd go to college. Maybe study law. Why didn't you then? Well, it just wasn't the right time. Papa? I mean, the family needed money. You and Mikhail, you, you were just kids. And we couldn't live on that measly salary from the Cranes. So I became a cop. I never knew, Louise. Well, being a policeman's a good job. Pays okay. Health benefits for the whole family. Well, that's not fair. You had to give up your dream for us. Teresa, family comes first. Their real dreams aren't. Are you saying I shouldn't have dreams? No. But don't dream the impossible. Be dreaming that you're gonna live like a crane, that's impossible. Just give it up before you get hurt. Come on, dinner's almost ready. Louise, do you still dream about going to college? All I'm dreaming about right now is food. I just want to know how you feel. I feel hungry. <laughs> Louise. Drop it, Teresa. Why can't you tell me your feelings? Why do you always have to be so macho? Well, because I'm a macho, macho man. I wouldn't brag about that if I were you. Well, I am who I am, and I'm not going to change. Well, you better if you're ever going to find a girl to marry. Well, what does that mean? It means you expect every girl to live up to some perfect image. No, that's not true. Just haven't met the right girl yet. Well, you sure have had plenty of girlfriends. In fact, you're still a legend at our school. I hear you are a regular Don Juan. No, oh, please. Anyway, my love life doesn't concern you. Oh, but it's okay for you to ask me a thousand questions about all those guys I've been out with. Yeah, well, that's different. You're too young to get seriously involved with anyone. You're so old-fashioned. I mean it, Teresa. Don't go ruining your future by doing anything dumb. Don't worry, big brother. I'll still be able to wear white on my wedding day. But that's only because I won't waste myself on any of those boys at school. They're so mature. The first night I make love, I want everything to be perfect. Like a soap opera. Rose petals on the bed, candles everywhere, champagne. I don't care what your bedroom looks like. As long as you have your marriage license first. Enough of these fancies. Let's go help Mom and Miguel with dinner. Might as well. I guess my dream about Ethan Crane coming to our front door and sweeping me off my feet won't happen tonight. It won't happen any night. <laughs> oh, we <Mikhail. laughs> What's going on? It's a fiesta. What am I celebrating? The best mother in the world. <laughs> I'll dance for that. Senorita? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is really good, Mama. Mm-hmm. Miguel helped me make it. Really? I could never make it this good, Miguel. You're a much better cook than me. Don't even try to talk me into cooking for you next time it's your turn, Teresa. <laughs> Would I do that? <laughs> Louise, you're awfully quiet. I talked to Mr. Jenkins down at the bank this afternoon. We're not late with our mortgage again, are we? No. Uh, but I did talk to him about the mortgage. The interest rate you have on the house right now is very high. If you get a new mortgage, you can get a much lower rate and save money every month. Put away savings for a retirement fund. Oh, I'd like that. How do I apply for a new mortgage? 
Well, the house isn't in just your name. Papa's on the deed, too. And since he isn't around, there's only one way that you can refinance the house. You have him declared legally dead and taken off the deed. No, he's not dead. Mama, he hasn't been around for years. You've been praying and lighting that candle every night, hoping that he's going to come home. And he hasn't. One day he will, Luis. He's not dead. Then he's abandoned us, and that's grounds for a divorce. Divorce? You want me to divorce your father? I know it's hard, but you have to face reality. I love your father, and he loves me. And I will never divorce him. Never! It's all right, Mama. Could have gone easier on her, Louise. Look, I'm sorry, but something has to be done. She needs money, and without that, she'll never quit her job with the damn cranes.